April is Earth Month, so all month long, ABC7, along with our sister stations across the country, ABC News and National Geographic, have been focusing on water, and that includes the infrastructure that all of us rely on. As part of our coverage, ABC7 News reporter Gloria Rodriguez went to the Sierra Nevada foothills to see where drinking water originates for more than a million East Bay Mud customers and how it gets from the source to your home. In California, we've been dealing with drought conditions the past couple of years. But with all the recent storms, they've had to spill water here at Pardee Dam. But this recent abundance of water doesn't mean our water issues are over. Well, in California, you're never in the clear, right? You're, you're never fully in the clear when it comes to drought uh, or floods. The challenges in California is the uh, significant amount of variability we can see from, from year to year. Dylan Cowan is the East Bay Municipal Utility District's superintendent at Party Dam. The dam was built in the 1920s to supply water to the East Bay. I hiked to the top of the 345 foot dam. It's a strenuous climb, but you get a sense of how the water gets from the dam in the Sierra Nevada foothills to EV Mud's 1.4 million customers in the Bay Area, more than 100 miles away. Steve Rowan is the dam's assistant superintendent. He says we have cycles of drought, and heavy rain. We had real heavy water years in 2017, another one in 2019, another one this year, but in 2015 we were in the worst drought we had been in since 1976. So it's it's just boom and bust. About 90 percent of EB Mud's drinking water comes from Party Reservoir, then goes to the dam. The water then comes to Orinda through aqueducts to be treated. They're undergoing a major project to upgrade the plant. I geared up in a hard hat and safety vest to get a look at the construction site for the expansion of the Orinda water treatment plant. It'll be the size of a football field. This is a rendering of the $325 million project expected to be completed in 2027. We have uh, 90 miles of pipelines that come from the party dam all the way to this water treatment plant. It takes between two and four days for the water to get here. Once it's here, it goes through a filtration process similar to a Brita filter that you might have at home. And this new project is adding ultraviolet disinfection to further improve the water quality. The water in Orinda then travels through pipes to customers in the East Bay. Despite the flowing water now, we know it won't always be this way. We'll be managing it as if there's going to be a drought next year, because there might be a drought next year. That's why water activists are reminding us to keep conserving water. At Party Dam, Gloria Rodriguez, ABC 7 News.